Hey guys, this is Swordfish. And I am playing... Grim Fantango. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the Land of the Dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean <laughs> cruise? Or... If you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Mm hmm. Well. The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. <laughs> can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. Oh yeah. I, as a huge fan of adventure games, I've wanted to play this game for the longest time, and it hasn't been available digitally, and they just released this remastered edition, and I could not be more excited about it. So, ¿qué es esto? What's in here? Looks like I got a message. Looks like I got a message. Uh, I should probably open it. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's Ooh. see some hustle out there. Exciting. Whatever you say, Hiffy. My message tube my... is full of nothing, as usual. Message tube. What else do we got in here? My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Oh, double click runs. Okay, good to know. What do we got over here? It's a deck of cards. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. All right, and we've got... Uh... I don't feel like pitching cards right now. What's this? 
My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Examine. My scythe. I like Select. to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Let me take it out. Okay. And then my this scythe. is... I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. And then this puts it away. That is an amazingly awesome scythe. Oh, this cycles through items. So this is... It's some sort of special work order. It's some sort of special That's work order. That's the first come first serve thing. This deck this of is cards deck is a little cards. fade around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. <laughs> I keep meaning to mark these cards. Another more playing cards. Scythe. Okay, cool. That's all the stuff he's got on him right now. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. Read them already. Didn't help. <laughs> Anything else I can look at? Any other hotspots? Can I use the computer? Not portable. Okay, guess not. No, no, no. This deck of that. cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got few. All right, let's head out to the uh, mass poisoning. Edit that out. Warning, this game does not automatically save. Please save in the pause menu to avoid losing progress. Thank you. Sure. I can do that. Domino's door is locked. Not a bad idea, actually. All right. Let's head to the poisoning. Hello. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. <laughs> Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? I I read it. I just want to do all the dialogue Besides tree. Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through <laughs> your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, <laughs> you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Wh wh what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Oh, Aren't that's you visiting cool. your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? So well, much dialogue. Well, got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Well... I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. That is an impressive amount of dialogue options for just idle chatter. It's really neat. Uh, I guess this is the way out. Yes, and indeed. That was fairly rushy. Are these cars hanging up on a thing? Like, like dry cleaning? That is awesome, if that is the case. That echoey sound is awesome, too. Everything about this. Okay, let's look at this thing. 
Oh, Land of the there Living. There are lights for wash, rinse, wax, and Land of the Living, depending on your destination. <laughs> the All driver right. demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. The driver demons. And I assume on foot. People right. have tried, but they never came back. So I guess I gotta go to a, go get a car. I assume that's over here where the cars were hanging up. Yeah, that's really cool. Here's what I need: wheels. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. So I have to find some, like, the controls, or probably in here. It's a tool cabinet. Not picking that up. Well. It's locked. Hey, who the, who's messing with my stuff? Oh, hey there. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. <laughs> Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive! <laughs> or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Oh, that's awesome. All right, um... Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. Oh, you're not too big. The cars are just too small. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey! That gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I, but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. That's Everything right, Gladys. Here is just too small. That's right, big buddy. All right, so we got to get a work order I signed. Get this work order signed. And we have ourselves a puzzle. We got ourselves a puzzle in the adventure game. All right, I guess I gotta go upstairs because he said it's gotta be signed by someone upstairs. Maybe my not secretary. It's my boss's secretary. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the li- Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. 
What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. Wow, there's like so many what if we just skip down options to, you to and chat me, baby. with her about. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But in one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know fat the rules. Because they're skeletons, I guess. That's really funny, if that's what she meant by that. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. All right. Well, so she can't do it for me. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. So I've got to do something to either... Domino's door is locked. Fake a signature, or... I could just sign it myself. Or I have to otherwise convince the boss to sign it. Alright. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. I forgot to, that I could use the computer. Here's Soso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Alright, nothing I can do there. Can I do anything with the filing cabinet? This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Alright, so no, it doesn't look like there's anything I can do in here. Domino's or in door here. Is locked. And there and I can't like yeah, try to I'll convince it. her. Mr. Didn't I? <laughs> Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. So I could get her to leave. And then go in. Man, stop. Hmm. I'd have more out. So this is all I have left to say, yeah. and there's no other dialogue choices. What's this door? Oh, I didn't go here. Oh, okay. We have another place to explore. Where are we? This is like the lobby. Let's see. Where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. Let's see. Where am I on this? Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. Nothing else this way right now. Ah, the old head of the department. Way before my time. I heard he was a total <laughs> slave driver. Uh, we can go it's through locked. Here. No, we can't go through here. Okay. There she is. The number nine. Can I go this way? Yes. That looks like a desk. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Now this guy. I don't know who this guy is. What about this door? It's locked. Nope. All right. Back the other way. No, I can't go. I can't go down to the end of this hallway. It just brings me back. Interesting. Wait, that's weird. To let me go here just to go back? Hmm. Okay. Back up the elevator, I guess. And then... This door goes down to the parking garage. Right? Interesting. 
I guess I should try to finish exploring the parking garage just in case. Because the, um. I can't get the boss to sign the work order. Let me see if there's anything else I can do down here first before I. just start walking in circles. It's a tool cabinet. Go visit my buddy again and maybe hey, man, say sorry. We're going to sign yet? Couldn't no. get it. Can we just do it without? I told you I could lose my job, Manny. If I lose my job. Hey, hey, hey! Don't worry. I'll get that work order signed somehow. All right, so I definitely have to do it. It's locked. Interesting. There's probably a place that I haven't gone. This is probably the work I've order. I've got to get this work order signed. I've got to get this work order signed. It's some sort of special work order. All right. Well, that may not have anything to do with getting the work order signed, but I um, I marked this card with her hole punch. This card's full of holes. So maybe that'll be useful at some point. Who knows? Oh, well, I missed this the first time that I could walk out here from from up from downstairs or from upstairs. So that's probably. I remember the year they built that. Mostly that was because it cost problem. so much. We didn't get bonuses that year. Da ganos. So let's see what else we can do out here. Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Ah. Uh. I left my tow truck back in my other suit. <laughs> Got it. So that's why I need a driver. Of course, I probably can't just uh, run across the road. Yeah. Can I go this way? Maybe. Ooh, there's a fair. With a string that I can... I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. Can I poke it? Hello? Not picking that up. Interesting. It's huge. I can't open it. And what's this way? Huh. It looks like a rope, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. <laughs> oh, so who, uh... Who snuck out? Maybe the boss? Maybe this is gonna lead to the boss's window? Oh my god. That was ambitious, Manny. Oh, it's a little skeleton bird. This is probably Domino's office. Because his door was locked. His door was this locked, but he left. Mess. He left out the window. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Oh, this is the boss. Nice! Ah, oh, cripes, Eva, just sign it yourself. I'll just change his auto response here. Ava, please! Ah, oh, cripes, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. All right, now what else can I find in here that's useful? Memo from the desk of Don Copal. Hey, work orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and specially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. This place is a mess. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Okay, so he's telling me don't do that. I'm gonna take his word for it and not do that. And now I'm gonna head back down the cheap ties and get that work order signed. Ooh, interesting. Now, do I tell her he's not in his office or do I just ask her? Yeah, I'm gonna I ask really her need first. The boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, 
Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Yeah! Thanks, Ava. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. <laughs> okay, Eva, work order signed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Nice. Here we go, Manny. He's got your robe. Oh my god. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Domino. Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. Whoa. This is nuts. All right. Look at these poor saps. So these are dead people, I guess? Bound only by the paper-thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. Smiles as bright and wide as the blade on my scythe. Soon I'll be coming for them. So I'm in the like land of the alive. living, but it's all weird and cut and pasty, and they're like frozen and creepy. There's a burger. I have to say, this food looks pretty good. In this world, all I can do is look, smell, and reap. All right, let's uh. I can't hey. use my bare hands. I'm a professional. All right. There we go. Nice bathrobe. <laughs> <laughs> but we offer several travel package upgrades if you'd care to cut the yeah. Oh, he's tiny. Get some rest. Now, that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, oh. I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Do blowers. Pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! <laughs> uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why well, I oughta... <laughs> <laughs> Shh. 
shut up.